Okay, next comes the anode uh, control circuit. And for this, we're going to need a socket um, with the EL817s, um, six 1K resistors and six 3K resistors. Um, now what we do is we put the 1K resistors above the um, opto isolators, but the 3K resistors are spread out. So let's just have a look for them. They're called R6, R7, and R8, then R26, R27, and R28. So the 3K resistors drive the anodes of the tubes um, via the opto isolators. So let's put it in the right way around. Now on these guys, there's a tiny dot in one corner and that's pin one. And if you can imagine, the dot is next to a notch, um, which tells you which way around the chip is. So these guys go in like this. I'm actually just going to solder them already in the in the socket. There's no need to take them out if you don't want to. So usual thing. One pin on each end, and then make sure it's seated properly. And then we can solder the rest of the pads. those guys in. So let's put in the six 1K resistors. Now at the end of this step, there's not really anything we can test. So um, the first time we can really test anything is after inserting also the cathode drivers here. So the K155. So I guess we won't uh, stop to do any tests in the meantime. We'll just carry straight on. The cathode step is really, really easy anyway, so. Um, perfectly okay to do it all in one go. Okay. All in. and all in place. Note that I'm doing every other one at the moment. Take the tape off and make sure that they're all, they're good. So I can then fill in the, the other ones. So if they needed adjusting or um, they were bent over in a funny way, we can adjust them if only one pin is soldered. Okay, <clears throat> now for the 3K resistors. So. R6, let's see, R6, R7, and R8. So the marking on the board says these go the other way around. So let me follow the marking on the board. When this is done, the last... Uh, that's it, apart from really the um, the tubes. So OK. 
Okay. <clears throat> so to the other side. R26, R27, and R28, 28, R27, R26. Okay. Okay, as I said, nothing to test here, so we'll move straight on. So now for the cathode control circuit, and this isn't going to take very long. Um, basically, we just have to put the socket in here. And then the chip in the socket, and that is it. Um, so I need to straighten the pins on the socket a bit. And you already know what comes next. Bit of tape. Solder. Two of the legs. And then chip in the socket, notch to notch. And there we go. Now we can poke uh, a tube in and see, uh, see if we get any life out of it. <clears throat> 